So, if you haven't noticed, I've been on these Storm Riders several days in a row now. Because they sure are fun. Um, yeah, look at them. They're just, just stable. They don't flippity flop. They this like the snow. So, coming into this section, the night skiing the day before it was real good through here. And it changed overnight and it crustified. It's like a breakable chunder crust. Look at those skis. They just like, they're chatter. I mean, they're bucking around, like, because any ski would at that point. Because that's bad snow. But they're doing good for what it is. Zipped in over north. The chucks line was closed again. Nothing was open far to the right. I've yet to get in there. I keep hoping to. I was going to put on the pedal to the metal here, and I see all these people down here. They're all piled up down there, so I best not be ragdolling through a group of kids or whatever. When you get to the steeps, you definitely get back down to that crust. You know, there is a crust that's down there. Everyone shaves it back down to it. Uh, okay. I haven't mentioned how much fun it is to actually ski with other people who are going fast. Look how fast Blake's going. Give me a break. He just takes off. We're going to start doing a uh, big air of the day. Or big airs with Blake. How about that? This is a good jump. It's not good yet. It needs to be shaped in. There's a couple whoop de doos in the middle of it. But Alieska is known, I don't know if it's known, but it's got a bunch of natural hits all around the mountain. And we're going to start exploring them soon. <laughs> what we got on today? Stoke, please? Yeah. Oh, it's Nelson. Dude, the new Storm Riders. They're fun. But it pretty much is the best feeling, just rolling in off top of Alieska, and you know you got this huge powder field, and the acceleration, it's a nice, the way it steepens, look the way it steepens. And then you're going as fast as you can want to go. This was nice because they groomed down on the right, so you could get up into the chunder, but then rest turned down, you know, it was pow on the groomer. Look at Nels, he's not on telly gear. So weird. Everyone always eventually gives up on telly. Yeah, because it hurts you and it's stupid. And it's slow. Half a binding, half a brain. Yeah. Whoa. It's very, very crowded. Yeah. You look like a skier out there. Oh, thank you. I, I take that as a compliment from you. We should high mark jump this alder thing. I just gotta shape them in. Land. Right here. I would high mark and land right here. Right here. That'd be big. Right Me and Blake were talking about how if you go fast enough, you just go so fast, you know, no matter how fast the other people are going, they appear to be standing still so it's almost easier to be going twice as fast you know i think it's some sort of the red shift blue shift thing going on there if not in my imagination
am putting it out there to universe though to get a next step up whatever the stokely has to offer some sort of thinking like 192 194 198 maybe Ooh, that would be i could imagine that thing thing is the bigger skis i mean you see there's a lot of wiggling around through tight spots where these little 178s are just perfect i mean you're limited by your absolute top speed but you're good at you know 90 percent speed but then you're not limited in the tight stuff so it's a toss-up you Oh, this little steep shoot. I do like this little one two combo. You got to duck under these alders. Getting to the crust. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Big storms on the way.